Hello everyone, this is Sayyad Musa Kaleem from Epicop and today we are going to see how we can build a simple Ionic 2 app in Visual Studio 2015. Before we dive in, I would like to walk you through the architecture of Ionic app, how you can create files and how you can manage pages in your application and how you can create a simple Ionic 2 app in Visual Studio 2015 so let's get started with this so I'm gonna open a solution explorer and I would like to show you how the uh, how is the architecture of Ionic 2 looks like in the Visual Studio 2015 so you are observing here that there are some folders called dependencies so if you are a beginner then you have to know about the NPM and Bower as well and uh, you have to know about how dependencies works in Ionic 2 and Ang Angular 2 applications so this folder is for the dependencies you can manage the packages using NuGet package manager in your application so this folder is for the npm and this is for the Bower so inside you can see that Ionic 1.3.0 it's a Bower dependency package which is installed in this application so we are gonna explore this file this folder called app this is your root component of your root file of your Ionic 2 app this file will be called first and this file will holds will contain the entire TypeScript format of your application so this is the app.ts file and inside this hooks you can create some files for your applications which are being important for your uh, for this application so we'll talk about this later and this is the folder for merges and this folder holds all the plugins which you want to use in your Ionic 2 app as in my case I have few plugins installed in my application you can see here Cordova plugin console Cordova plugin device splash screen splash screen status bar whitelist and all so we have different plugins installed in this application and as Ionic provides native functionality it also provides native functionality plugins as well you can explore the camera you can explore the file system file explorer system all stuff you can manage at you uh, all stuff you can manage in your Ionic 2 application as as you can see here it provides an uh, it provides entire native functionality you can create this app and you can run this app on all platforms like iOS Android and Windows so I have given a brief introduction on Ionic 2 in my last video don't forget to watch my previous video on introduction to Ionic 2 and uh, we'll move on and we'll see what these folders will be used for and when we'll use these folders in your in our application and how it is useful for us you can see here these are some resources which contains three subfolders for Android iOS and for Windows so we'll talk about this later this is not the part of this video and you can see here SCSS so you might have heard about SAS and LESS they are CSS preprocessors which preprocess pre your CSS and will this file dot SCSS render CSS or you can say preprocess CSS and it renders in your application it gets rendered in your application so the, what is the you might be wondering what what's the advantage of using SAS uh, you can use SAS and you can create some cool stuff in SAS files like variables you can store your you can store your uh, CS uh, you can store your stylings in variables so this is the major advantage of using SAS in your application as Ionic 2 is supporting SAS we have to use .scss 
format files in our application you could also use CSS but SAS is most uh, preferable in Ionic 2 apps and in Angular 2 apps as well so we'll talk about this later as, and we'll move to the next folder called typings inside this we have a globals folder and in www folder we have one subfolder called CSS inside that we have a style.css and two more different files for CSS as well so this is my index.html inside this I'm gonna create a simple application as this index.html file will be called first by any project if you are building any project then index.html will get called first so I'm gonna create a simple application in Ionic 2 this is our first application in Ionic as you are seeing here we are building it from scratch and we'll give the title of this application as YVM after that I'm gonna give as you can see here Ion is the prefix of all tags all custom tags so you can easily differentiate that these tags Ion header Ion navbar Ion title these all tags are custom Ionic tags which looks like HTML tags but they are not HTML tags actually they are Ionic tags so this is the power of Ionic you can use HTML tags as custom tags to create your application you can see here we have different kinds of custom tags and this header is the header and inside this header we have a navbar and we have a title title under the navbar and this is the body content of the page you can see inside this content I'm gonna give Ion list inside this list I'm gonna give Ion item our first item will be Ionic 2 as we are doing it on Ionic I'm gonna copy these items and we'll change this name to Angular and we'll change this name to Node.js and we'll give a new name to this uh, what you can say SAS React you can see here we have different items in this list so you may be asking what I am doing here I'm gonna I'm creating one file I'm creating one list not file I'm creating one list inside this index.html page and I'm giving few items in that list like Ionic 2, Angular 2, Node.js, SAS, React.js and this one will be mean stack so let's save this application and let's run this application on ripple nexus nexus s emulator so our application is running now we'll explore ionic framework docs if you are a newbie if you are a beginner then i would highly suggest you to visit this website to get started with ionic which is ionicframework.com or you can also visit ionic.io so this website provides all components of ionic as you can see here we have different kind of action sheets different kinds of components in ionic and also we have custom tags in ionic you can see here alerts So it, it is giving in a different way so if you want this if you want the source code 
of this ionic components then you can click this demo source button open in a new tab so this is the website for ionic you can get started with ionic if you are a beginner or if you are a newbie then you can start from here so this this on this page we have two files this is this file these two files are on github so you can open pages.ts file I'm gonna close this so these are the two files which you can use to create alerts like this the basic show alert show basic alert if you want to create the show basic alert message box then you can copy this code from github as you can see here our application is still running it might take some time to get compiled so I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna move on to the next section called prompt alerts you can see here prompt alerts it is in green color and it has some different functionality you can see here when whenever a user tries to log in this kind of model boxes or this kind of pop-ups will be used we'll move to the next one or show confirm alert agree or disagree so these are the basic components or these are the basic components of Ionic you can use in your Ionic 2 app uh, our application is ready now we can visit we can hop to the Chrome and we'll see how it looks like and you can see here I have my list which I have given in the application it is running in the DOM Explorer index. Uh, it, it is running in DOM under DOM Explorer. You can see here the index.html will be called first. So we have created one header and one ion content tag or container. You can you could say inside that I have given a list of items, and you can see here uh, our application is running fine on Ripple Nexus S emulator. So you could use Google Android emulator as well to run your application but it needs Android and you could also run your application you could also run Ionic apps on Mac as well so this is the simple application which we have created using Ionic 2 hope you enjoy this video please like and share my videos don't forget to subscribe my channel Thanks for watching this video, I will see you in the next video.